Family Research Council (FRC) is an American conservative Christian nonprofit charity and activist group with an affiliated lobbying organization. Its stated mission is to advance faith, family and freedom in public policy and the culture from a Christian worldview. The FRC was formed in the United States in 1981 by James Dobson and incorporated in 1983. In the late 1980s, FRC officially became a division of Dobson's main organization, Focus on the Family. However, after an administrative separation, FRC became an independent entity in 1992. Tony Perkins is its current president. FRC promotes what it considers traditional family values by advocating and lobbying for socially conservative policies. It opposes and lobbies against equal rights for LGBT people such as same-sex marriage, same-sex civil unions, and LGBT adoption, abortion, divorce, embryonic stem cell research and pornography. FRC is affiliated with a 501 lobbying pack known as FRC Action. In 2010, the Southern Poverty Law Center classified FRC as an anti-gay hate group. History The Council was incorporated as a non-profit organization in 1983. James Dobson, Armand Nicolai Jr., and George Reckers were some of its founding board members. In 1988, following financial difficulties, FRC was incorporated into focus on the family, and Gary Bauer joined the organization as president. FRC remained under the focus on the family umbrella until 1992, when it separated out of concern for Focus's tax-exempt status. Tony Perkins joined FRC as its president in 2003. On June 18, 2013, Josh Duggar was named executive director of FRC Action, the nonprofit and tax-exempt legislative action arm of Family Research Council. Duggar resigned his position on May 21, 2015, after his history of sexual misconduct as a minor became public. Topic: 2012 domestic terrorist attack. On August 15, 2012, Floyd Lee Corkins II, wielding a 9mm pistol along with two magazines and 50 rounds of ammunition, entered the lobby of Family Research Council's Washington, D.C. headquarters. Corkins shot an employee, 46-year-old Leonardo Johnson, in the left arm. While injured, Johnson assisted others who wrestled the gunman to the ground until police arrived and placed the gunman under arrest. Johnson was taken to a hospital to treat his wound. The gunman was interviewed by the FBI. Law enforcement officials said that the suspect, 28 year old Floyd Corkins II, a resident of nearby Herndon, Virginia, had served as a volunteer at a LGBT community center. The FBI and the Metropolitan Police Department investigated jointly to determine motive, intent, and whether a hate crime terrorism nexus exists. During his FBI interview, Corkins was asked how he chose his target. His response was, Southern Poverty Law lists anti-gay groups. I found them online. Corkins appeared in court the following day and was charged with assault with intent to kill while armed and interstate transportation of a firearm and ammunition. An affidavit filed in the case stated that Corkins had told the guard, words to the effect of, I don't like your politics. On August 22, 2012, Corkins was indicted on three charges, two charges in the District of Columbia, possession of a handgun during a violent crime and assault with intent to kill, and interstate transportation of a firearm and ammunition, a federal charge. In January 2013, Corkins pleaded guilty to all charges. Corkins was sentenced to 25 years in prison on September 19, 2013. On the day of the shooting, a joint statement was issued by 25 LGBT groups condemning Corkins' actions. The National Organization for Marriage, an active campaigner against same sex marriage, issued a statement saying, Today's attack is the clearest sign we've seen that labeling pro marriage groups as hateful must end. FRC President Tony Perkins issued a public statement calling the shooting, 
an act of domestic terrorism, and criticizing the Southern Poverty Law Center for being reckless in labeling organizations as hate groups because they disagree with them on public policy. SPLC spokesman Mark Potok called Perkins' accusation outrageous, and in a statement said. The FRC and its allies on the religious right are saying, in effect, that offering legitimate and fact-based criticism in a democratic society is tantamount to suggesting that the objects of criticism should be the targets of criminal violence." The SPLC responded by saying the group was listed as a hate group because, "...it has knowingly spread false and denigrating propaganda." about lesbians, gays, bisexuals and transgender people. Politics, policies and positions Family Research Council opposes efforts to make the human papillomavirus vaccine mandatory for school attendance. HPV is a virus that can be transmitted by sexual contact, that can cause cervical cancer. FRC defends its position on the basis of the rights of parents and because of its support for abstinence prior to marriage, it supports a federal conscience clause, allowing medical workers to refuse to provide certain treatments to their patients, such as abortion, blood transfusion or birth control. It also advocates for abstinence-only sex education, intelligent design and prayer in public schools, and the regulation of pornography and other obscene, indecent, or profane programming on broadcast and cable television. It opposed, but failed to prevent, the introduction of a .xxx domain name, and it lobbied for an increase in indecency fines from the Federal Communications Commission. FRC also holds that hotel pornography may be prosecutable under federal and state obscenity laws. It opposed the expansion of civil rights laws to include sexual orientation and gender identity as a legal basis for discrimination. Family Research Council is also fiscally conservative and wants to increase the child tax credit. FRC supports the requirement of a one year waiting period before a married couple with children can legally get a divorce so that they can receive marital counseling, unless the marriage involves domestic violence. FRC also supports permanently eliminating the marriage penalty and estate taxes. The council opposes legalized abortion, stem cell research which involves the destruction of human embryos and funding thereof, instead advocating research using adult stem cells and legal recognition of same-sex domestic partnerships in the form of marriage or civil unions. It formerly opposed all forms of gambling. The Council has questioned whether humans are mainly or completely responsible for climate change, and has opposed other evangelicals who have affirmed their belief in global warming. Statements on homosexuality The Family Research Council holds the belief that homosexual conduct is harmful to the persons who engage in it and to society at large, and can never be affirmed," and asserts that it is, by definition unnatural, and as such is associated with negative physical and psychological health effects. The Council also asserts that, "...there is no convincing evidence that a homosexual identity is ever something genetic or inborn." These positions are in opposition to the consensus of mainstream psychological and medical experts that homosexuality is a normal, healthy variation of human behavior, and that sexual orientation is generally not chosen. FRC's statements and positions have been further criticized as being based upon pseudoscience or junk science. According to Wired, the group has misrepresented data and mis designed sociological studies in order to negatively depict LGBT people. FRC also states that, S "...empathy must be extended to those who struggle with unwanted same-sex attractions, and every effort should be made to assist such persons to overcome those attractions, as many already have." Evidence on the effectiveness of sexual orientation change efforts is limited, according to a 2009 publication from the American Psychological Association. There are no studies of adequate scientific rigor to conclude whether or not recent sexual orientation change efforts do or do not work to change a person's sexual orientation. 
In 2012, Rob Schwarzwalder, then a senior vice president at FRC, wrote, "...to love people who identify as gays or lesbians means to extend grace to them, to welcome them as friends, to care for them when ill, and to respect them as persons whose creation was ordained by the God of the universe and for whom the Son of God died." Such love will oppose attempts to legalize homosexual marriage, as to do so would vindicate a corruption of that which God intended. To love homosexuals means that believing churches cannot accept those practicing or advocating homosexuality as members, ministers, or leaders any more than persons living in any other kind of sexual sin. Jointly with Focus on the Family, the Council submitted an amicus brief in Lawrence v. Texas, the U.S. Supreme Court case in which anti-sodomy laws were ruled unconstitutional on privacy grounds. The summary of the amicus curiae brief declares that, "...states may discourage the evils of sexual acts outside of marriage by means up to and including criminal prohibition." and that it is constitutionally permissible for Texas to "...choose to protect marital intimacy by prohibiting same-sex acts." Similar positions have been advocated by representatives of the organization since Lawrence was decided in 2003. In February 2010, Family Research Council's senior researcher for policy studies, Peter Sprigg, stated on NBC's Hardball that same-sex behavior should be outlawed and that criminal sanctions against homosexual behavior should be enforced in may that same year sprig publicly suggested that repealing the don't ask don't tell policy would encourage molestation of heterosexual service members in november 2010 perkins was asked about sprig's comments regarding the criminalization of same sex behavior he responded that criminalizing homosexuality is not a goal of family research council Perkins repeated FRC's Association of Homosexuals with Pedophilia, stating, If you look at the American College of Pediatricians, they say the research is overwhelming that homosexuality poses a danger to children. Perkins' statements have been contradicted by mainstream social science research, and the likelihood of child molestation by homosexuals and bisexuals has been found to be no higher than child molestation by heterosexuals, as Newsweek put it. F or decades, the FRC has smeared homosexuals in its publications, insinuating that gay people are more likely to sexually abuse children and an analysis by John Aravosis concluded that the FRC cherry-picks and distorts evidence as part of a deliberate campaign to smear the LGBT community. Quote, Some scientists whose work is cited by the American College of Pediatricians—which was created following the American Academy of Pediatrics endorsement of adoption by same-sex couples and to which the FRC points for evidence supporting its positions, have said the organization has distorted or misrepresented their work and the organization has been criticized by Psychology Today for making false statements less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 that have the potential to harm LGBT youth. Quote dot as a response to the FRC's promotion of such widely rejected claims about LGBT people, the Southern Poverty Law Center SPLC designated FRC as a hate group in the winter 2010 issue of its intelligence report. Mother Jones reported that the Southern Poverty Law Center's classification of the FRC as a hate group stems from FRC's more than decade-long insistence that gay people are more likely to molest children. Research from non-ideological outfits is actually firm in concluding the opposite. In 2017, at the Council-sponsored Values Voter Summit, a tote bag was distributed to all attendees that included a copy of a flyer entitled the Health Hazards of Homosexuality written by Mass Resistance, the Southern Poverty Law Center has designated Mass Resistance as a hate group, an amicus brief submitted in relation to United States v. Windsor which struck down part of the Defense of Marriage Act argued that DOMA did not discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation, and their amicus brief in Obergefell v. Hodges argued against same-sex marriage. 
An article written by Travis Weber, the director of the Council's Center for Religious Liberty, was highly critical of both Supreme Court decisions. Same-sex marriage cases Family Research Council on January 28, 2013 issued an amicus brief in support of Proposition 8 case and the Defense of Marriage Act cases before the Supreme Court, arguing for the Court to uphold DOMA banning federal recognition of same-sex unions and Proposition 8 banning gay marriage in California. On June 26, 2013, the Supreme Court ruled in United States v. Windsor that the Defense of Marriage Act unconstitutionally discriminated against gay and lesbian couples, and in Hollingsworth v. Perry that Proposition 8's proponents had no standing to defend the law, leaving in place a lower court ruling overturning the ban. Publishing and lobbying activities Family Research Council is a member of ProtectMarriage.com, a coalition formed to sponsor California Proposition 8 to restrict marriage to opposite-sex couples only, which passed in 2008 but was struck down as unconstitutional by a federal court in California. Justice Sunday. Justice Sunday was the name for three religious conferences organized by the FRC and Focus on the Family in 2005 and 2006. According to FRC, the purpose of the events was to request an end to filibusters of judicial nominees that were based, at least in part, on the nominee's religious views or imputed inability to decide cases on the basis of the law regardless of their beliefs. Topic. Values Voter Summit Every fall, FRC Action, the political action group affiliated with FRC holds an annual summit composed for conservative Christian activists and evangelical voters in Washington, D.C. The summit has been a place for social conservatives across the nation to hear Republican presidential hopefuls platforms. Since 2007 a straw poll has been taken as a means of providing an early prediction of which candidate will win the endorsement of Christian conservatives. <inaudible> <inaudible> Ugandan resolution In 2010, FRC paid $25,000 to congressional lobbyists for what they described as Res.1064 Ugandan Resolution Pro Homosexual Promotion", in a lobbying disclosure report. The U.S. House of Representatives resolution condemned the Uganda Anti-Homosexuality Bill, a bill which, among other things, would have imposed either the death penalty or life imprisonment for sexual relations between persons of the same sex. Following exposure of the lobbying contribution in June 2010, FRC issued a statement denying that they were trying to kill the bill, but rather that they wanted to change the language of the bill to remove sweeping and inaccurate assertions that homosexual conduct is internationally recognized as a fundamental human right." They further stated, "...FRC does not support the Uganda Bill, and does not support the death penalty for homosexuality. Nor any other penalty which would have the effect of inhibiting compassionate pastoral, psychological, and medical care and treatment for those who experience same sex attractions or who engage in homosexual conduct. The Ugandan resolution was revived by Uganda's President Museveni in 2012. FRC used one of Museveni's speeches in an email to its supporters praising Uganda's commitment to Christian faith and national repentance around the time that he reintroduced the anti-homosexuality bill. The speech did not refer to homosexuality specifically, but did mention "...sexual immorality," among the sins for which Ugandans must repent. <laughs> Controversies and criticism Topic. 2010 listing as a hate group by SPLC 
The Southern Poverty Law Center SPLC designated FRC as a hate group in the winter 2010 issue of its magazine, Intelligence Report. Aside from statements made earlier in the year by Sprigg and Perkins see statements on homosexuality, the SPLC described FRC as a font of anti-gay propaganda throughout its history. As evidence, the SPLC cited a 1999 publication by FRC, Homosexual Activists Work to Normalize Sex with Boys, which stated, "...one of the primary goals of the homosexual rights movement is to abolish all age of consent laws and to eventually recognize pedophiles as the prophets of a new sexual order." The report said FRC senior research fellows Tim Daly and Peter Sprigg 2001 had pushed false accusations linking gay men to pedophilia. FRC President Tony Perkins called the hate designation a political attack on FRC by a liberal organization. On December 15, 2010, FRC ran an open letter advertisement in two Washington, D.C., newspapers disputing the SPLC's action. In a press release, FRC called the allegation, intolerance pure and simple, and said it was dedicated to upholding Judeo Christian moral views, including marriage as the union of a man and a woman. A section of the letter supporting FRC and certain other organizations designated as hate groups by the SPLC had signers which included 20 members of the House of Representatives including then soon to be Speaker John Boehner, three U.S. Senators, four state governors, and one state attorney general. In response, Mark Podick SPLC spokesman emphasized the factual evidence upon which the SPLC had taken the step of making the designation, a shooting incident in the lobby of FRC headquarters in 2012 see above prompted further comments on the SPLC's hate group listing. Dana Milbank, columnist for The Washington Post, referred to the incident as a madman's act for which the SPLC should not be blamed, but called its classification of FRC as a hate group, reckless, and said that, it's absurd to put the group, as the Law Center does, in the same category as Aryan Nations, Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, Stormfront and the Westboro Baptist Church. Tufts University political science professor Jeffrey Berry described himself as, not comfortable, with the designation, there's probably some things that have been said by one or two individuals that qualify as hate speech. But overall, it's not seen as a hate group." Journalist Adam Serwer of Mother Jones argued that the description, while subjective, was justified by the FRC's record of purveying stereotypes, prejudice, and junk science as a justification for public policy that would deny gays and lesbians equal rights and criminalize their conduct. Topic. George Allen Wreckers George Wreckers was a founding board member in 1983. In May 2010 Wreckers employed a male prostitute as a travel companion for a two-week vacation in Europe. Wreckers denied any inappropriate conduct and suggestions that he was gay. The male escort told CNN he had given Wreckers sexual massages while traveling together in Europe. Wreckers subsequently resigned from the board of NARTH. Topic: <inaudible> Josh Duggar. On June 18, 2013, it was announced that Josh Duggar of the television show 19 Kids and Counting would serve as the executive director of FRC Action, the nonprofit and tax-exempt legislative action arm of Family Research Council. Duggar resigned on May 21, 2015, when it became public and he confirmed that he had molested five underage girls, including some of his sisters, 12 years earlier, when he was between 14 and 15 years old. In reference to Duggar's resignation, FRC President Tony Perkins said, Josh believes that the situation will make it difficult for him to be effective in his current work. <laughs> List of presidents Gerald P. Regier Gary Bauer Kenneth L. 
Connor, 2000 to 2003. Tony Perkins, 2003. Topic. See also. Christian coalition. Christian voice. Christian fundamentalism. Christian right. Radical right. United States. LGBT rights opposition. Moral majority coalition. Values voter summit. List of organizations designated by the Southern Poverty Law Center as anti-gay hate groups. Topic notes. Carrot of the terms deviate and deviant. Sex were used historically in laws such as the one struck down by Lawrence v. Texas.